guys, today we're gonna do a quick basic aircraft tool familiarization. Let's start with torque wrench. It is a tool used to apply a specific torque value to a fastener such as a nut or a bolt. Next one is our files. As you can see, we have different types of file. We have the flat and the round. Files is an important but often overlooked tool used to shape metal by cutting and abrasion. They are used for smoothening the edges and the corners of a metal. Straight snip have a straight blades with cutting edges sharpened by an 85 degree angle. Aviation snips are used to cut holes, curved parts, round patches, and doublers in sheet metal. Cleco fasteners. Cleco fasteners comes with different sizes. Clecos are a type of uh, fasteners. So the equipment that we use for the installation of Clecos is we have our Cleco flyer, of course. This is for the installation and uninstallation and removal of Clecos. C clamps. C clamps is shaped like a large letter C, as you can see, and has three main parts threaded screw jaw and swivel head next we have our pneumatic rivet guns most common rivet upsetting tool used in airframe repair work it operates in air pressure so that's uh, what pneumatic means rivet headers or rivet set rivet headers are made with short offset and long that brought close to work due to structural interference so this is what we use for universal and this is what we use for flush and it comes with uh, safety springs so this is what we use for universal set this is what we use for flush and next let's go to our bucking bars Bucking bars, sometimes called a dolly. Bucking iron or bucking block is a heavy chunk of steel whose counter vibration during installation. So this helps with installation of rivets in airframe. Next, let us move to our angle drill motors. Heavy duty right angle drills are equipped with a chuck similar to the pistol grip drill motor. The drill bits that we use for an angle drill is threaded. As you can see. And of course, drill bits co uh, comes with different sizes as well. Let's move to our pneumatic drill motors or pneumatic drill gun. Pneumatic drill motors are the most common types of drill motors for aircraft repair work. They are lightweight and have sufficient power and good speed. And we use our chuck key for the installation and removal of our drill bits. We have our drill bushing or drill guide as some call it. Also known as a jig bushing is a tool used in metal working jigs to uh, guide cutting tools designed to guide position and support the cutting tool. Also used to guide the drill to get the, the 90 degree. And next is our drill stop. There you go, our drill stop. Drill stop is a wire investment. It can be made from tubing, fiber rod, or hard rubber. There we go. Let's move to our micro stop. Micro stop is used for installation of countersunk rivets and as you can see here there's a bit inside so this is what it looks like this is what you use for countersinking there we go die grinder is a handle tool that turns a mounted cutoff wheel rotary file and the sanding disc at high speed our rotary files there we go this is what we put on the die grinder cutting wheel so 
So we have here our rubber mallet. It is used for forming various sheet metal, variety of tools and equipment. There we go. For here, we have our measuring equipments. So these three are used for measuring. We have here our steel ruler, our lock bolt grip gauge, and our caliper. Rivet cutters. Rivet cutters is used to trim rivets when rivets required length is unavailable. Pin punch is a straight shank characterized by a hexagonal body. You see that? So here we have our bench vise. Another clamping device that holds the workpiece in place and allow work to be done with saws and drills. Alright, and last but not the least, we have our pneumatic pup rivet gun. So that's it for our basic aircraft tools familiarization. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this video. For any suggestions for the next videos, please comment down below. Thank you. Bye.